Also new tonight, health officials in Chesapeake are warning residents about rabid animals. The health department says four raccoons and two foxes that had encounters with pets from June to now have tested positive for that deadly disease. 10 on your side's Aaron Kelly joins us live in one of the areas these animals were spotted. Aaron. Yeah, we are on Bainbridge Boulevard, and according to the health department, this summer there were some encounters near here on side streets with some of those rabid animals. Health department officials have been passing out these flyers, warning everyone to keep themselves and their pets away from wild animals. We want people aware that we're seeing an increase in rabid wild animals. Chesapeake health officials are alerting the public of six encounters rabid foxes and raccoons have had with pets in the last four months. It happened on Roland and Crowell Avenues this summer and again on Bethel Road just last week. This map shows the type of wild animal and when and where they showed up. So there's two raccoons there. Environmental health manager Mike Rex Road says officials have been sending flyers to daycare centers, schools and organizations that work with the homeless. They have territories that they roam and this school would be well within the territories that these animals would have roamed. That is scary because I have a baby in the house and I'm like no. So I'm told my husband we need a fence in our yard. Elizabeth Erickson lives on Railroad Avenue where officials say a fox encountered a domestic animal in June. She's seen one too. I always catch it in my back and then I hear something scraping and I have to in the mornings when I get up I got to push my door back in. Rex Road says you should look for telltale signs a fox or raccoon has rabies like if they're out in the daytime or showing erratic behavior. If they look scruffy and not well then that's another indication. If they have neurological symptoms they're approaching you they're aggressive they're aggressive to your dog or your cat or whatever that's a definite giveaway because most wild animals don't want to come in contact. And the health department says you can get rabies from the saliva of an infected animal, but they say there are things you can do to protect yourself. They want you to make sure that your pets uh, have current uh, rabies vaccinations, and they want you to eliminate food sources from around your home. And if you believe you or an animal, one of your pets, has been in contact with a possibly rabid animal, they want you to contact the Chesapeake Health Department or Chesapeake Animal Services. For now, we're live in Chesapeake. Erin Kelly, 10 on your side.